Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Transform My Space with Mav Construction. Thank you for tuning in. Today, we're going to share some information that will help you choose the right bag of cement for your build. There are so many types of bags out there, different brands, and they all come in very, very different prices. Are you using them correctly? If you love this type of content, hit subscribe, share the video, and do comment. Enjoy. So, the very first tip is that the bag of cement that you are buying must comply with South African standards. So do check and make sure that the bag is SABS approved. Now, each and every bag that you're buying must have the stamp. It suggests that the manufacturer complies with standards and whatever they claim the strength of that cement is, is indeed the correct cement strength. So do check that it is SABS approved. Next, let's talk about the numbers on the bag and what do they mean. You will see the 42.5 here printed quite clearly onto the bag. What that tells you is that this bag of cement is able to achieve 42.5 megapascals once it sets and eventually cures. And so the difference between a 42.5 and a 32.5 is that the 42.5 is a lot stronger. And so that's what this number then suggests. From this, you can deduce which cement bag you should be buying for particular types of applications. A 42.5 is very, very suitable for your high strength applications. And that would include if you're trying to build a foundation in terms of mixing your concrete to form your strip footings, um, 42.5 is very, very important in that application. Do not use 32 in that sense. Second, a 42.5 is very, very useful when you are building your walls in a double story applications that are to support bearing loads, including a slab for a double story house. And so in there, you need your walls to be very, very strong strength wise. And so it is then suitable in that application you can use a 32.5 if you are simply trying to plaster a wall if you're simply trying to build a boundary wall you're simply trying to build the walls of a house for a single story unit that bag becomes sufficient so the point i'm making is that 32.5 is actually um, better used in instances where you don't expect heavy loads to be there Price-wise, because 42.5 is a lot stronger, it typically varies by price compared to a 32.5. Um, the range shouldn't be more than 20 Rand. For example, a same brand making a 32.5 would sell a bag for 85 Rand and a 42.5 equivalent would then be 105 rand because you're buying a lot more strength and so that's how the prices then vary so if you want to take advantage of optimizing the cost of your house you may buy the 32.5 20 rands cheaper if you're building large scale it makes a massive massive difference it is not necessary to buy 42.5 if you are simply plastering walls if you're simply building a boundary wall you are simply building the house of a single story unit and all walls whether inside or outside may be built pretty fine with 32.5 now the last thing we're going to talk about is this little n that you see on each and every bag after the number in this particular instant it actually denotes normal now this is meant to indicate the speed at which the cement is able to actually set and eventually cure and suggested it is a normal curing rate which means that it will reach its strength after 25 days of setting and eventually cures to reach that strength of 42 alternatively you may have seen some bags denoted with an r here instead of the end and the r therefore suggests rapid curing which means that you you are able to reach your maximum curing uh, your maximum setting and ultimate strength 
in under 28 days and hence there are for rapid and so if you are looking to build quite quickly perhaps in rainy seasons you're trying to take advantage of the fact that there's still a bit of sunlight up you are then able to build using a rapid cement also it is more commonly found in large projects where time is a big factor and you are required to build quite a bit of walls quite a bit of plastering and whatever you're trying to achieve quite quickly and so that is why you would then buy 42r for rapid as opposed to 42n for normal and so that's what the two actually uh, represent n for normal and r for rapid so there you have it peeps we've spoken about how to read a bag of cement and we've given some tips to help you pick the right bag of cement for your bill if you love our type of content please do hit subscribe share the video do like and do comment we're keen to hear your thoughts mav construction signing out thanks cheers